Mr. Banerjee, could you tell us how in the how what are the changes that you see that have affected the reality sector in the last 25 years? Well, uh, firstly, I'd like to congratulate the Commendation Times for having this 25 years celebration today. Yes, the real estate industry has seen a sea change in the last 25 years from being a government-owned uh, type of uh, supplier or, uh, you know, people constructing houses for the um, mostly middle classes and, and even the worker level. And now moving on to the private building sector, as you can see, there's been a sea change. Now that also in terms of construction time, quality, the type of uh, interior, the type of uh, architecture has taken a complete uh, you know, transformation in 25 years. Today we stand in a position where we can compare ourselves with many places in the world. The architecture that we have in India today, the technology that has come in, uh, I would say we could be quite proud of that compared to you know what we were 25 years ago where people were complaining about the lack of space, the poor quality and the long time, the manual labor required. So we were nowhere compared to any foreign country. But today as we stand here today, yes, I can say proudly as an Indian that we have come a long way in terms of real estate, not only in commercial, but you can see the malls and everything has come up everywhere, office spaces, but definitely residential, as you can see in places like Bombay, Delhi, Calcutta, uh, Bangalore, Hyderabad, uh, very good structures, high-rise structures have also come out, integrated townships have come up. So I think there's a great change. And, um, yeah. and Mr. Banerjee, could you tell us, how do you see this entire uh, scenario changing in the next 25 years? especially as you mentioned about integrated towns and uh, the design and the structure and everything. How do you see in the future? How will that change? Well, that's a very good question and I think we are poised for a quantum leap, quantum growth, but the growth is now going to be very inclusive. It is going to be with green technology, environment friendliness, uh, quicker time in, ter in terms of delivery because the materials, prefabrication and all that we use not so much of manual labor, more of technical labor, more smart digital type of uh, architectural drawings, very fast implementation by the instruments and uh, you know scientific technologies we use. I would see a lot of uh, walk-to-work walk concepts where you know you don't have to drive so much. You work in the office and you stay nearby, so that integration is going on. A lot of urban planning, governments are getting wiser. So this is a very good thing. So. Uh, public-private uh, partnership in developing integrated township with modern environment friendly atmosphere for the people so that it's a happy life you can work well and you can have recreation and you can stay in a nice place I think this is the development of the future and I'm very happy to see that people like accommodation times are urging people to do it I think in that sense what do you see in like this is a more about urban cities what do you see the other smaller towns or the interiors or even for that matter the villages how do you see a change coming there happily uh, you will see today in the mini metros and semi rural areas the concept of bulk buying metro type of uh, shopping in terms of mall culture is also spreading there there are also small integrated townships of low cost housing you know, housing doesn't have to be very, very expensive. As long as it is very ergonomically made, so the enough space is there, enough thought is put in so that the kitchens and everything is done so a nuclear family can live. This is spreading to the small, small towns. And the small towns can be an example to many of the, uh, you know, suburbs of the metros. The suburbs of the metros should learn from the small towns how they have developed. If you see small town like Nasik, or if you go to north, you see, you know, Mirat and Agra, and these are very small towns compared to metro like, uh, you know, Mumbai. But they are also developing in the same way. I think it has to be the government in Asia to put the pressure on, and the public is demanding it, you know, with the media so much, like, you know, reporting, showing the world. Everybody is having disposable income. They are demanding good house, good car, good life. So it is spreading to the rural centers as well as the metros, perhaps more so. Okay, Mr. Banerjee, thank you so much. Is there anything you want to add to this?
Well, I think more functions and conventions like this should be happening so that all of us can get together and put, uh, share our thoughts and perhaps the real estate industry can become a real industry and I would request the government to grant that status also.